Hello, Leo. Okay, I'm just gonna clear that energy really quick. is the first card that came out. You have a lot of things on your mind. It feels like you're going to be like going into a state of daydreaming or you may have been in this state of daydreaming a lot and like not being able to like really escape the urge to daydream all the time. You got the Queen of Wands with the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So it's like at this time, you have a lot of choices and spirit is like backing you up in your choice. It's kind of like spirit wants you to know, like, yeah, we heard what you said. We know what you're asking for and we're going to give you a sign. We're going to give you some sort of proof that what, what it is that you're daydreaming here for, what it is that you're hoping for is going to come true. Like, look at this person on this card she almost looks like she's daydreaming this deck doesn't give me this um there is an unknown but you're handling the unknown in a way that no matter what you choose your the answer will be known by you wheel of fortune you will be able to figure out the answer to this you will be able to it's like the energy that you're in right now there is nothing that you are can do that is going to um, cause you to fall. Even if you do fall, it's like you're gonna fall into a better situation here. You're, you're not going to, yeah, you have this page of pentacles and justice. So anything that you do at this time, it's letting you know that there's no way that you can mess this up. There's no way that you can go off of the path that you're supposed to be on at this time. It's just like kind of not possible here because you overcame like really big things in this lifetime in the recent past. But I feel like a lot of things and then especially something in the recent past where something was really clicking into place here. You have the star card and the lovers. You're like highly in alignment highly very very highly in alignment and it doesn't even feel like that much of it's like this illusion here with this moon card and the star you think you're in the moon but you're in a star you think you're in the moon card where you gotta go through another dark night of the soul where you gotta you know marry the night about yourself marry the darkness about yourself discover things about yourself where you have to you know go on this journey to seek the light within no you, this is not where you are you're actually here in the stars and it's like you're in alignment with this lover's card the lover's card is card of alignment can it's also you know especially when you have the Six of Swords, the Star, and the Lovers right together like that. This is saying you walked away from something and the universe is gifting you what you thought that thing was that you had to walk away from. Because there is something that you had to walk away from that presented itself as real love here. But it wasn't. It was fake. It was fake. And you could have stayed and you could have like made it work to a point you know because that's what the energy i'm getting with this ace of pentacles okay because i'm you know i read intuitively look at the mountains in the back of the card it's kind of like yeah i could just live here and not know what those mountains are about for the rest of my life just wonder forever spend forever wondering about those mountains but you didn't do it. You're like, no, I need to know. I need to know what's beyond those mountains. 
I need to know. Six of Swords. I'm going. And it really talks about... It's kind of like this energy with the pinnacle of like, you know, let's say somebody marries someone, is with someone, you know, chooses to marry someone and they have a lot of money, but they don't love them. But they're like, this could be really good for my future, you know? <laughs> like the Bridgerton days when all of these women were like navigating the position that they were gonna find themselves in so they wouldn't have to go out on their own here because during that time it was like unheard of for a woman to be so established. Male or female doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, you could have stayed. Like there was something there and it might not have been money, honestly. But there was something that you could have pretended and made it work in a way because you can make anything fun, like you have that ability, and then you would just be choosing to really stay trapped in this mental prison, really choose to like, this is just where I live now, in this death, where nothing can really grow. Like something couldn't grow there. There was like something that you wondered, anything that you wondered about or you were curious about, you couldn't explore it with this with this past person or in this past situation but you thought it was real love and you were willing to give up conte that's what it is um not andrea bocelli andrea bocelli andrea bocelli i'm pretty sure it's andrea bocelli now i'm like that name sounds weird am i getting his and his son's name mixed up I think it's Andrea Bocelli. He has a song, Conte, and it talks about he's going to give up seas and the sea and the, you know, exploring other worlds, other countries that he doesn't know. It basically is giving up this wanting to go out there into this world. Doesn't need any of that, just needs this person that he's, you know, professing his love to. You were willing to do that, but you were willing to do that for something that wasn't love. I don't know if I want to call it not love, but it wasn't love and the it wasn't um it's like somebody was like, I know what I'm supposed to say, so I'm just gonna do it. Like the page of swords is someone who's learning about things, but this person was holding back. They didn't want to learn, they didn't want to open up themselves, and so it's like, oh, you know when you get like a piece of paper from school and it like has on it, this is what you do in this situation. This is how you solve this math problem. And so they just like wrote that on the piece of paper, but they didn't like, you know what I mean? Like they knew the lines to say for love, but the emotion wasn't there behind it. So it's just like, yeah, this two of swords with the six of wands. You couldn't have a victory with this person. And then it's like, well, they're in complete agony without you. So they want to come back together here. But I just feel like you found your happiness where you are. And you're not taking, um, you're, you're seeing things clearly now. You're not going to go back to this because it left you out in the cold. You want an equal give and take partnership and you're not settling for less. And Oh well, you use this heartache to focus with the Eight of Pentacles. So this is why this star and the lovers is coming in. This can be two separate things. This can be a star is, you know, something that you're dreaming. What is your dream to do, to be, to you know be doing more of in your life to be experiencing more in your life and this could also be just the dream of who you are the, the like how you want to be in this world you know how you want to like what do you want your style to be what do you want your story to be what do you want any, you could be changing a lot of things about yourself at this time, but it's feeling right. It's like within what you really, really are. And it's because you are willing to give up 
what you thought was real love because it hindered your own um, self-worth, your own, um, didn't allow you to express yourself. And you said, even if this is real love, even if this is the one, even if this is my twin flame, this is hindering me. And I can't allow that. So you like stood up for yourself in a really, really healthy way. You turned disappointment into focus. So that's what this is about here. This could be something that, you know, Aquarius is here, Gemini is here. So this could be an Aquarius or a Gemini. It doesn't have to be absolutely, right? Anybody can be, you know, in any energy at any time. We're not just in the energy. You know, Leo is not just in the strength energy 24-7. So there's that. But this could be somebody that you met in Aquarius season, this past Aquarius season, or you were hoping something was going to happen during Aquarius season and it didn't. Maybe a wish that you made in Aquarius or Gemini season. Eight of Cups. You, you were still in the process of walking away. It feels like when this wish was made. Whether you knew this person or you didn't even know of them yet. You might still not know of them, honestly. Yeah, three of wands. It's coming in, so you are gonna know soon, but you don't you don't have to know now. You have the seven of wands. The seven of wands is really an energy of just like going for it. So like with career or something, especially this is landing right under the star something that you dream of, now is the time to just go for it. This is not a time to have an idea and just be like, well, that's a cute idea. I think that could be really great, but I'm just going to write it down in this notebook and never think about it again. Like, no. <laughs> if you have an idea to do something, now is the time to do it. And try, be open to different ways to doing things, right? And yeah, the four of wands. So... And the tower. A big thing in your life is gonna come together and you don't even know it. Temperance. A big thing in your life is gonna come together and you don't even know it yet. And it's something that has to do with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of passion. You're seeing more and more of what you want every single day with this Queen of Swords card. It almost feels like you're shocked at how much you control with this world card. You know, this woman is a sorceress here on the world card and she has boundaries set up around her. And... Then you have this Wounded Warrior card here. This person doesn't know how to set up a boundary, right? Yeah, they have all these sticks behind them. They have this stick. But does this look like this person is in a healthy space? Does this? Look at her. She's just glowing and free. And just the fact that she's, you know, not wearing anything. She's not, wor she has not a care in the world. She's just like enjoying, you know, the wind or floating in the air, whatever the heck she's doing. And she has set up boundaries to protect herself. And she trusts that the universe is going to provide for her. You know, she's ending one point and moving towards another. But this is so interesting because you still seem to think that you're here. There's something about the moon and you think you're in the moon. Look at this eight of cups. Look at how this person is looking up at the moon. This may shockingly happen around the next full moon because there's a full moon in this card. This person is looking up and looking up at the cycles in your life and the patterns of your life. And you think you're just sitting here on this mountaintop deciding, okay, what's next? Because nothing really seems to be happening. 
And then it's like, bam, you know, if I'm going down here in this row, and then underneath that you have the world. So it's like, you're going to very suddenly realize that you have all of this universe unfolding for you at your feet, everything it is that you're wanting. There's no longer a need to be in this um, balanced energy. Also, if there's a Sagittarius, feels like there might be a Sagittarius person that they just, I don't know. Do they want to be you? Do they want to take your energy? I don't think they mean to take your energy, but I think that they do take your energy. I think that they question a lot of your beliefs and how you do things. And one of the reasons is because they maybe they want to be more like you. They seek like advice from you and it, I get the energy of like you're not really like trying to force your energy onto them but they just like want it but they always kind of come back at you with something could be a Scorpio doesn't have to be but there's just something I think you might hear something from this person and I don't know if it's gonna be something that you really want to continue with going forward you have this devil and the ten of wands so it's kind of like putting down that burden seeing things from a different perspective and assessing like is this really what's good for me here and then moving away six of swords This person questions everything that you do, but it's like there's so much love for you, but then it's like a little too much something. I don't know. Yeah, Nine of Swords. They kind of snap out of nowhere, it feels like. High Priestess, you can feel it. You can feel the energy coming from them. When they're unhappy with like the way conditions have played out in their reality and things are going well for you, they don't like it. You can feel their energy and they don't say it. But here's the thing is you can say one thing, but your vibration is something else. And a lot of people are actors out here. And they're saying one thing and they're displaying the emotions that they need to display. But inside, you can feel it. It's just not genuine. And it's kind of like we're moving into an energy now in the world and you are in your life where you can feel it when something isn't right, man. And you know, it's not going to work. Three of Pentacles reverse. This is like, I don't want to collab with you anymore. I don't want to co-create with you anymore. Because I am in absolute and complete and total joy with this sun card here. And every day is a new exciting opportunity. And I want to focus on that. I want to focus on what I can create here. And this person, they want to focus on their agony. And what, you know, they, they don't mean to, they don't want to create more of it, but they have a choice just like you. Am I going to wake up today and I'm I going to be sad and disappointed about where my life is? Or am I going to say, you know what? Hey, I woke up today. That's something to be grateful about. Look outside. The sun is still a thing. Even if it's raining and I cannot see the sun, the sun still exists. That's good. <laughs> because without it, we would all be nothing. <laughs> you know, I'm still breathing. I still have a shot to turn this all around. You know, it's a new day. You know, they have their own spirit guides around them that are guiding them. And they have to make that choice. That's a choice that they have to make. You can't make it for them. And you've kind of been not realizing it, but your compassion for others, you have allowed them to change your emotions here with this Queen of Cups card. And it has been blocking opportunities from you with this Eight of Swords and the um, 
it's a loss. But you're you're learning this. There's a little bit of reflection going on here, but you're using the reflection to your advantage. So it feels like you're being pulled back to memories of the past and to how things really went and to really honestly looking, how was I, how was they? And you're coming to your own inner resolution here that I feel like is bringing you a sense of peace that you have never known before. It's like more intense level of peace and power. Oh, power. Oh, power. Jeez. You're unstoppable. You're going into the mode. Wheel of Fortune. The Empress. Ten of Pentacles. You're going into this unstoppable mode. Freaking wow. There's something that you want to do. I feel like there are people. Okay. Yeah. That's is exactly people around you that don't see this journey that you're on. They don't understand it with the strength card in reverse, the chariot in reverse, these people upright. They don't see the journey that you're on. They don't accept it. They're trying to pull you into reality. Look at the proof here. Look at the proof here. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? What, what's going on now? What happened with that? Why are you doing that? You shouldn't be doing that. It's like... Shut up. Get away from me. <laughs> you know? There's a change happening here. People are going to be out and you're going to be in. Moving forward. Moving away from people. It might be a lot of people. But you know, you're going to gain a lot of people as well. But you know, you're going to do amazing things. I feel like people are going to see what it is that you're doing. It's not like you're gone and people don't know what happened with this person. You know? No. They're going to see. Wow. You know? Because now they're kind of like, what's going on with Leo? They're kind of like a loner. Like, what's going on with them? Did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? Yeah, like, what do they think? What are they, why are they doing that? Why are they, you know what I mean? But then you're just like not caring about that. And you're just like not feeling compelled to be around this people, these energies. And you're not allowing them to get to your energy anymore, creating this healthy blockade. And even the people that you do still feel compelled to be around. Because I am getting a sense of there are times where you're really wanting to be social. All of a sudden, you get these bursts of creativity. You get these bursts of daydreams. You get these bursts of inspiration, bursts of excitement, bursts of joy for life, a little bit burst of the past and being trapped in those kind of memories. But quickly, I think quicker than you think, pulling yourself out of it and turning it around to a more positive thought and then all of a sudden feeling this burst to go out and be around people so spirit is saying yeah follow those impulses and you know how to protect yourself protect your energy from people but i feel like you're really going to be compelled in a direction just pulled just called just driven and spirit wants you to know you can do it. You can do it. Yes, follow it. Don't believe in there's like the dream and then there's like the dreams that you like. Okay, these are the dreams I'm really going to go for because they're more like reasonable. No. Go for the dream. The big one. Could be a cancer person coming in you're manifesting big you're manifesting no blockages for yourself going forward and what it is that you want so now is the time to go for it even especially if it requires some sort of movement you have to move somewhere or you have to be somewhere else uh i feel like snails are a sign for you if you see a snail that is a sign for you snails are self-sufficient they carry their home on their back. 
So you usually see a snail on the typical Nine of Pentacles card. Being a self-made, you're a self-made person. There is a way that you can do something right now. There are no blocks. The only block is that you allowed unknowingly, mistakenly, okay, it happens. People do that. You no need to beat yourself up about that, but you need to know that. I feel like you let other people's opinions in and then talk you out of the daydreams that you thought you were realistic, let alone this wild one, right? But a change has come. A time of change is here. For a lot of you, it happened during Gemini season and you didn't even realize you were doing it. I feel like maybe the beginning of it started in Aquarius season, okay? And now it's coming to here, to this point. You'll be a Taurus person, you have an Empress here. You also have um, Capricorn, um, Aries, Sag, and or, or another Leo, uh, Virgo, Hermit. Doesn't have to be though. Okay, that people can be in any energy, but it's definitely somebody who, you know, they needed to go within before they could take some action here. That's what needed to happen. Maybe you were disappointed because you wanted the action earlier on. So maybe you know a person and you wanted them to act and they didn't act and you were kind of like four of swords hoping and praying for some sort of action here and waiting and waiting and like, well, what's next? Because I guess they're not coming. Oh, well, and then bam, ace of cups, bam, king of cups. They had to, you thought they were weighing things out and they weren't sure. But I feel like it's more of, on the five of wands, you see how they're using sticks, <clears throat> not swords. So it's like this person needed to get through something. They needed to learn something. They needed some sort of, they needed some sort of a clarity here. They couldn't plant a seed where they were with the Six of Pentacles. They couldn't plant it. Now they can. Queen of Pentacles. It's almost like this energy of, if you have an opportunity, look at this Knight of Pentacles. This is what it is. The way the offer was supposed to come in, they couldn't do it for whatever reason. But if you're going to come, this Knight of Pentacles is going to come see this Queen of Pentacles, right? But let's say his horse is sick. It's, the horse is like vomiting everywhere. Uh, you know, his armor is all rusted. He's got a cold himself. You know, you're going to go see the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to try to offer her something and you're going to be sneezing on her. Your horse is going to be throwing up all over a freaking castle. You know, she's going to be like, guards, who let this one in? Uh-uh, get out of here. You know? So there was just like, they weren't ready to come towards you. I don't know. They just wanted to, I don't even think that they had a big things to get rid of in their energy, but they had something that they had to come into balance about. That they had to learn more about themselves in a way. It was like this blocked them. It was a heartache. They had to get over a past heartache. Because when you're coming at somebody with a wounded heart, right? You're really accusing that other person. You're not able to be just. Your mind's always going to be running around thinking what is really happening here. You know, there's, there's not an opportunity for honest trust for a victory to happen at that point. So even though it disappointed them to have to wait, you know, if I'm going to see a go see a queen, I need to be ready to be worthy of a queen with this emperor energy. That's why they were holding back. That's why they were holding back. Four of Pentacles, okay? But you know... They're ready now. 
this hair of them card. Look at this nine of pentacles. Look at this page of pentacles. Look at this fool and the two of pentacles. They are ready. They're ready to take a leap of faith. These are the two cards of leap of faith. What do they want to take a leap of faith about? Sure, sure. Equal give and take relationship. I feel like this is you and this is them. They finally got to this place of equal give and take. You have been out here on your journey, embracing your journey. Not even thinking about this. I feel like their journey is you. Your journey is, they're like, I don't know yet. But it's going to be great. Probably have a lot of offers too. Probably have a lot of things where it's like you thought people were over it or you thought people, you didn't think people, the way this Ten of Swords is in reverse with this um, Knight of Cups here, it's really telling me, yeah, like Five of, of Pentacles reverse. You thought that people left you out in the cold. You thought that people don't want you or something like that. It's not true. It's way more than you think way more than you think people have hidden feelings for you and you maybe think that you're just an option to these people and you're wanting to manifest everything here and you are you are manifesting everything but i feel like what you don't see is that people already see you as everything you're already being seen that way also i just feel like you're having bursts of joy at this time or you're going to get into a state where you're just feeling these bursts of joy that is because a manifestation is about to really happen and you are already in alignment look at this i just mushed up all these cards to pick them up and how come i keep seeing these two like because you're so in alignment that you don't know it and then bam it's just like what the heck? everything just kind of like comes in and comes in together at one time and it just feels very like an unexpected look at this eight of wands and then the um ace of wands so spirit wants you to know that yeah what you're wanting oh it's coming be passionate be excited but it's kind of like saying keep keep your thoughts to yourself don't tell anybody else about this because you know what other people they don't get it. They don't get it. I don't care how in alignment they are. I don't care how spiritual they are. I don't care how um, zen they are or whatever. But what you see for yourself and what you have the ability to see for other people, you know, it's, it's a lot harder to just dream for others. You can't do it. Everybody has to dream for themselves. And everybody needs to be focused on their dream. And it's like the wheel of fortune here. You're moving your focus to your dream. And you're like, I'm going to achieve this dream that I have of something that you're wanting to establish here. And you may have um, an offer come in, it feels like, of a partnership for that. But you're not accepting anything less than equal give and take. Definitely in love. Definitely. But look at how interesting this is. We started out with the three of cups here, or five of cups here, and he has three cups spilled. And then behind, there's two cups. And then wheel of fortune, nine of pentacles, two cups. So eventually, you're turning around and you're going to see these two cups behind you. So, you know, on this five of cups card, he has lost his taste for wine. And the wine is spilled, but it's like he didn't really want the wine, anyways. But it's like, at least it was something, you know, and kind of just like going through the same motions, even though it doesn't really bring you joy anymore, hoping that it's just going to kind of revitalize some kind of joy. You're just like tricking yourself that you're in joy, but you're not. And then when something doesn't work out that you already didn't like or already weren't, it's like, were you hoping for someone or something that's not 100% your dream? And then it doesn't work out and you're kind of like, oh, horrible but you quickly pull yourself into this place of i know the universe has got my back i'm on the center of this wheel of fortune i'm controlling my own destiny with my own thoughts my thoughts birth my emotions my emotions births what i actually live in each present moment and with the law of attraction that is what 
I draw to me in this outer world in the form of manifestation becomes my reality. And you are going from this person of being disappointed into a person that is self-sufficient, into a person that is creative and uses their intelligence to their advantage and knows how to build something that lasts. You know, this, this, these grapes here are not easy to grow. Many people that, you know, that's, it's like a family thing, you know, the family has acres of land and grapes, right? And that's what they do. And they just multiply their, their wealth there. They're just printing money over there, you know, like it just flows to them and it's easy and it's fun and they love it. And it's like, that's kind of what you're going into here, right? And there could be a partnership coming in, which definitely feels like a love partnership, but also it could be an opportunity to work with, whoa, wow, this is an opportunity to work with someone else. Yeah, yeah, this is an opportunity you're going to get to work with someone else. And it feels like, hold on. I don't even know if I can, okay. How magical is that, right? When stuff like this happens, spirit wants you to pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. And I know some people will say, oh, you just bumped the candle. That's what happened. Let's not ruin this incredibly magical moment with reason, right? There is a partnership available here for you. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. It's going to bring you a lot of money. And it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. So the universe doesn't want you to hold back. Okay? There's somebody here that you can partner with. King of Pentacles is a resourceful person. They're an established person. Okay? And they're not starting a new business here from scratch. No. They're going to go to this small business that is doing a freaking awesome job. And they're going to say, hey, let's partner together and let's make wine. And let's sell it to, I don't know, the whole freaking world, right? So, and look, you're not even out in the field anymore. You're out in the field because you want to be under a tree. And you have a whole new thing going on. There's a guy here. There's a baby here, male or female, whatever you're attracted to. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you want to have kids or not. Or even if you want to partner or not. But it's definitely saying... There is a scenery change of joy and something new could be um, having to do with an earth sign, Taurus, uh, Virgo, or uh, Capricorn here. But it's definitely something that's going to increase your wealth. It's a seed that you have planted that then you will be ready to go forth. But it's like spirit is also telling you to don't tell everybody about this. Don't tell everybody about this. Don't tell everybody about the downloads that you are getting when you're dreaming or that you're visualizing or what you are trying to manifest. It's like, just focus on you. And when you talk to other people, just like make something else up. You know, I don't know what, because bam, it's just going to come in. It's just going to come in and then they will see, then they will see. You could be meeting a uh, Libra as well, you know, but regardless, this is going to come when you are focused on, you know, your own transition, healing, transition, focused on something that you care about. Then you have this communication coming on the day of the source. So it's kind of like spirit is saying, don't lose your focus now because everything is about to start happening for you with the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to get a charm for you. <gasps> wow. Okay. We have a mermaid. Oh, can you see? It's a mermaid. It's like her back and she's sitting. You can see her. So this is like definitely giving me aerial vibes, especially with the movie out now. Wow. It's like, you know, how she 
wants to explore another world and she does it. I feel like you may move. You may have an opportunity to move somewhere or definitely explore another land and fall in love in the process. But it's like she's an explorer. That's what she is. She collects all these things from another world. And, you know, I'm not trying to talk about controversy with this Little Mermaid movie, but I wish they would have made Ariel into, you know, I don't know. She goes back down to the mermaids and she makes peace between the land and some kind of an ambassador or something, you know, with the, with, um, the, the Aladdin live action movie, you know, Jasmine became a sultan, you know, she stood up for herself and she stood up for a woman's right to, you know, choose who she's going to be with and for a woman's right to be able to, you know, be, have any, you know, job that a man can do. Having the ability to lead, to rule, to use her mind, to be respected for more than just her looks and her ability to marry somebody, right? And create an heir. So I wish they would have done a little more of that with The Little Mermaid. This is just what I've heard. I haven't even seen the movie yet, but I'm wanting to, but. Um, so I feel like, anyways, <laughs> there's something here about you're going to discover a whole new world. Like you might leave something behind that you thought you were going for. But it's also something that's in alignment with what you are wanting. And then it's like love comes along the way. You know, she was already daydreaming about the land and collecting objects before, long before she even saw Prince Eric and that whole thing went about, right? So... There's something to that as well, you know? Also, you could just see mermaids places and that can be a sign for you. Um, you could meet someone going to see this Little Mermaid movie, who knows, right? Okay, you also have the bike here. The bike talks about um another way of doing things that would be a way of enjoyment right it's like um yeah i could just get in my car and drive where i gotta go but like taking a bike somewhere is like i want to go somewhere and i want the journey along the way to be fun to be an adventure to be a part of what i'm doing you know not just the end destination so spirit is saying by making this journey, it's like spirit doesn't want you to miss this time when it is about you and when things are forming and coming together because that time is it's such a precious time and it's a time that we always look back on, you know. So enjoy the journey of this time. If there's something that you can do to make this time more enjoyable, like would it be more enjoyable to ride your bike to go do this? Then do it. And it doesn't have to be literally riding a bike, you know. Whatever would make the way that you're already going more enjoyable, then do it, right? Because that's just going to keep you more and more in alignment and that is just going to draw more and more of what you want to you. So, okay. Thank you so much, Leo, and I hope I see you next time.